hello and welcome to this session on Jenkins beginner tutorial so uh, this will be a series on Jenkins and we will start with very basics on how to get things started with Jenkins how do we get Jenkins what is Jenkins and then we will go to some intermediate topics on how to create jobs in Jenkins we will look into some some plugins and then we will look at how do we actually do continuous integration with Jenkins so this is going to be a very basic step-by-step -step guide for Jenkins and if you are a total new beginner uh, for Jenkins uh, this is the tutorial for you okay so let us begin and see wha what is Jenkins and why we use it okay so Jenkins uh, is a Java application okay so because it's a Java application it is platform independent and it does not uh, require any specific platform you can use Jenkins the same way whether you are on Windows or you are on Mac or any other operating system I am recording this tutorial on a Mac but this will be exactly the same in Windows as well and I will tell you if there are any differences so you do not have to worry about the operating system that you are using okay and why is Jenkins used it's used for continuous integration and continuous delivery now what do we mean by this continuous integration and continuous delivery uh, let us look at this picture and if you look at the green portion above okay what happens normally is when we work in teams we have different developers who develop the code and they keep on working on changing or enhancing the code and as the developer works on his own machine and he changes the code he will check in the code into some shared repository which can be a git or a bitbucket or tfs anything right now what happens is let's suppose through the entire day there are many developers who are changing the code and uh, checking in the code in a shared repository at the end of the day when you have a build let's suppose there is some bug introduced in any of the code and now the build failed now it will be very difficult for us to identify what exact code failed the build and at what point was this uh, bug introduced in the code and then you have to go back and check in uh, you know all the code that was uh, created that day and there will be a lot of confusion okay so here comes Jenkins what does Jenkins do is as soon as any developer commits a code in the shared repository Jenkins will take that uh, latest code and trigger a build okay and the build notification will be sent out so in case there is any problem with the build or there is any error you will be get you will get notified as soon as the build gets triggered and builds completes okay so we can uh, check that if there is any issue due to any commit we can uh, reverse that and we will not waste a lot of time in finding out what code caused the break okay the other thing is uh, let's suppose the build is successful we can also integrate our unit test or acceptance test or performance test along with the build as a post build actions in Jenkins and it will be automated so as soon as the build gets deployed Jenkins will trigger, trigger some test cases or some testing which will be automated and it will send out a report back to us okay so let's suppose the build was successful there was no exception but uh, due to the changes in the code there was something which broke in the application so we will come to know instantly that there is some break due to this code and we can uh, troubleshoot it so you can see how uh, efficient and powerful the entire system can be and this is what is called as continuous integration we are uh, taking the code and doing a build as soon as the code gets commit and then we are also triggering the test and we are sending back the report so as soon as there is any change in the code this entire cycle gets triggered and we come to know if there is any issue with the application so this is what continuous delivery is all about and this is how Jenkins fit into the picture okay so uh, let us start with downloading and getting started with Jenkins and step one will be download Jenkins okay so let us go to our browser and I will just say Jenkins 
and the very first site I get is Jenkins.io let us go there and as soon as you go to this site you will see this download Jenkins now uh, we have two options one is the long term stable release and the other one is weekly release so weekly release is whatever they are uh, developing they put it here so we can take it from here but I would prefer that you take this uh, support release which is like stable release and you can click on the war file as soon as you click you will get this uh, war file will get downloaded to your system as of now I am cancelling this download because I already have it okay so you will download Jenkins and step 2 is place the war file that you get into any location on your system okay so in my case I have uh, put this file under desktop Jenkins okay you can see the Jenkins.war file is present here now what you have to do is uh, to start Jenkins you have to go to your command prompt in Windows or if you are on a Mac you have to go to terminal and you have to go to this particular folder wherever you have put the Jenkins.war file okay so step 3 will be go to command prompt in case of Windows or terminal in case of Mac and there you have to type the command you have to first go to folder where jenkins.war is and then you have to type this command java-jar jenkins.war ok so let me go to my terminal here and I will first go to the folder where my jenkins.war is ok so I am going here and now I will say java-jar jenkins.war and enter so as soon as you click enter you will see some information coming here, here. so uh, this is extracting from war file winstone is the server uh, and it will take a couple of minutes and once this uh, entire process is done your Jenkins will be up and running and you can access it through a browser on uh, port 8080 okay now see it also gives me a password for admin so I'll just copy this password okay so whenever you start Jenkins for the first time it will be asking you an admin password so I will just copy this here okay so once this is done what you have to do as step 4 is go to browser and you have to say localhost 8080 okay of course HTTP will be there so what does localhost means localhost means your local machine so you can also give the IP of your machine instead of localhost and 8080 is the port on which Jenkins will be running okay so if I go to my localhost 8080 now you can see uh, it is asking me for that password right so I will give the password which I got from here this one okay now this password will also be saved in your dot uh, Jenkins secrets initial admin password so in case you cannot find it here you can go here and get it and I'll show you how as of now I'm just going and I'll put this password and say continue and now it will start my Jenkins initial screen okay now as soon as you uh, 
enter the password it will ask you to install some plugins so you have two options one is install suggested plugin so what it will do is all the suggested plugins will start getting installed as soon as you click here but what we want we want to select the plugins ourselves so I'm clicking here okay now you can see all the plugins are listed out and the green ones are the ones which are uh, which are already selected so if you if I go here and say all all plugins will get selected if I say none none of the plugins will get selected and if I say suggested only the suggested plugins will get selected here okay and here I can browse by the category of plugins so organization and administration plugin you can see what all plugins are available if I want to see build tools I'll click here and I can see what are the plugins available for build tools if I want to say notification and publishing I will click here and I have I am getting the list of all the plugins for notifications and publishing and now we can select whatever plugins we need for starting and then click on install okay so uh, I am not selecting any plugins but yes oh, you can select the suggested plugins okay and then you can click on install so that uh, all the plugins will get uh, installed into Jenkins okay after that after the plugins are installed you will get this screen create first admin user so you can create any user or you can continue as admin so if you create some users you will get a separate user otherwise you can continue as admin okay you can start using Jenkins so now we have uh, downloaded and started our Jenkins and this is the home window of the Jenkins okay now uh, we also should be aware of where are all our plugins in the Jenkins directory so if you go to if I am on a Mac I will go to my user folder and here you will get a dot Jenkins folder okay now here I am not getting it because it is a hidden file a hidden folder and if you are on a Mac what you have to do is go to your command prompt and you paste this default right you can uh, exit from the finder and I want to see all my hidden files in Windows you must be knowing how to do it but for Mac you have to run this command and then press the option or the alt key and right click on the finder and click on relaunch okay now if I go to my user folder I am going with command shift G and going to my user folder and now you can see it has showing me all the hidden files as well and I will find the dot Jenkins folder here okay so this is my dot Jenkins folder and inside this folder I will have all the configuration logs and everything uh, related to Jenkins and the plugins as well so this time I have not installed any plugins if I would have I will get all the plugins in this folder okay uh, similarly in Windows you can go to your user folder and then there will be a hidden folder called dot Jenkins where you will get all the Jenkins folders and files okay so uh, this is how we start Jenkins and you can say step 5 will be installed required plugins and 6 is get started with Jenkins okay home window okay so now we have this Jenkins started and in the next session we will start creating jobs so this is how we'll be start creating jobs in Jenkins and then we will see it at some of the other plugins okay so this is how uh, we download and start with Jenkins hope you like it thank you